love or career which one should you choose so I'm gonna open up to you guys a little bit about my relationships it's like I accepted my faith I'm gonna be a matandang dalaga I told my mom hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Miss K Chris in celebration of love month we are gonna talk about the love and the flight attendant career on this video so just keep on watching Okay, so as always, before we start, we are going to give a book shout out on this video just to thank everybody who bought my book and give a shout out to you guys. So this is from Clars. Clars sent me a photo of her and the book very recently. Thank you so much for getting the book, Clars. And another one, amazing photo guys, from Juan Carlo Navarro. He made a little like photo shoot thingy happening with the with the book. The book is there. <laughs> he's holding the book and he's on the stairs. And oh my gosh, such a sick caption as well. We shouldn't be limited by the decisions we made in the past. Life is an open door and the future has unlimited opportunities hashtag ready for takeoff thank you juan carlo for the shout out or for the photo yeah i love it so if you guys want to get the book it's available on shopee and also available through the link below on the description box if you are not from the Philippines. and before we start this video i just like to invite you guys to my workshop it's happening on march 2 in greenbelt one max's restaurant i'm going to be teaching you guys how to formulate your own answers for the interview how to tackle different interview questions and how to deliver your answers i'm going to be there to give you feedback and polish the way you deliver your answers for your interview so i hope that you can join us and you can register and save a seat now it's three thousand pesos per seat and if you register now the first 15 uh, registrants will get a free ready for take of book so go ahead and take advantage of that promo the links will be down below now let's go ahead and start the video so this video I wanted to talk about the different phases of love that I experienced while being a flight attendant, you know, my different relationships. So I'm gonna open up to you guys a little bit about my relationships and how it was having a relationship and being a flight attendant. Is it difficult? Um, what challenges did I experience and what lessons I have learned in the end? So I'm gonna take you back to 2009 when I was just I uh, know I was just a fresh graduate and I I just passed the board exam and but at that time I had a boyfriend my ex-boyfriend that time I was so in love and I was young and I didn't know any better so every time that I would go and try to think about being a flight attendant I already stopped myself there Okay, I didn't even try because I'm so happy with the relationship. I didn't want to leave him behind. I didn't even think about it. Even though in my heart, I know that that could be a career for me. That's so exciting. I want to try it. But I didn't. I just stopped myself. Because at that time, I believed that I could choose love or I could choose career. So I choose love at that time. <laughs> so cheesy right so later on that relationship we had arguments and things like that you know still young and then when he found out that I would stop myself from applying because uh, I didn't want to to jeopardize our relationship he actually told me nah, where is your self-respect why wouldn't you why wouldn't you uh, do that for yourself don't do things for me do things for yourself think about me if you have any self-respect you should be thinking about yourself and your career how could you be a better person and you should really go for that job and don't don't let um, anything a relationship stand in the way of that wow. and that was actually yeah a wake-up call so honestly at the time I was angry at him for telling me this but it rings true um, in reality 
it was one of the reasons I'm stopping myself and I shouldn't be stopping myself because if our love was strong we will try to make it work even though I will be working abroad or I, I would be working as a flight attendant and and he wouldn't be working yet you know I was still a student <laughs> but yeah that's what happened that's the first uh, struggle I had with um, love and the career of a flight attendant that's the first question I had in mind should I choose one well actually you shouldn't choose one you can have both of them <laughs> it's possible <laughs> okay so anyways fast forward two years I was a call center agent and I'm working in a BPO industry and then I started dating this guy and at the same time at the beginning of our relationship I was also applying with different airlines and I got hired with Pal Express and I said that I'm going to go for it so it's okay with it I did my training in Manila the good thing is that I am based in Cebu so those are this is also one of the reasons that I chose working for Pal Express instead of Pal <laughs> which is funny because if you know Pal is a much better airline to work for in my in my opinion because so many benefits and it's the flag carrier I just didn't have the patience to wait for my panel interview and I already accepted the job offer in this other company because I was thinking yeah I need to work and also I love that we are based in Cebu so that happened I wasn't regretting that decision though because I was able to stay in Cebu it was such a pleasant experience flying for Pal Express Cebu hub because we're all like just a little family there and all the time with my boyfriend it was nice because he was in Cebu I was in Cebu every time that I finish my work we have time to to go on a date to hang out to celebrate anniversaries but I wasn't always there during Saturdays and Sundays which is his day off from work and my my work day sometimes so it all worked out because we are both very I think we are both very aloof kind of personality you know we we can we can survive without being together 24 7 so that's the kind of relationship that we have it's like parallel play <laughs> like Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory and his girlfriend so that's kind that's the kind of relationship that we had so we lasted for so long until such time that I have to go to Oman Air and I was kind of like hesitant because I was afraid that long-distance relationship doesn't work and shouldn't work but this time uh, I decided to go for it because I was already 27 years old at that time and I was thinking if I'm gonna do this I have to do this now I can't delay it anymore because the age limitations you know I don't have kids yet so this is the perfect time for me to fly international a uh, good thing is that time my boyfriend at the time was very supportive and was able to you know be supportive of me and he was okay with me going abroad and we try to work things out on the long distance relationship so i went i fly international all my dreams came true i'm so happy uh, but the thing is uh, after some time after two years of flying and the long distance relationship it was not working out for us the the relationship uh, in my opinion was not working out for us because when the time comes that I said I wanted to do this and that I wanted to start a business want to do this um, we weren't on the same page so it's very important that if you're in a long-distance relationship you both are in the same page and you have goals to work on and you have you plan vacation trips together and things like that because uh, sometimes what happens is that you will grow apart and that's what happened to us sadly that's what happened to us and maybe it was just not meant to be and maybe it was my fault <laughs> and my boyfriend at that time was such a nice person wala kang masasabi he's the best he is uh, supportive he's so mabait it's just that we I see that we are going in different ways in our lives and I didn't want to him to change just because I want to change you know I wanted to be entrepreneur I want to be a businesswoman and you know some people it's really challenging to do that and in my experience also when I became a businesswoman it's like oh my god this is really difficult so I wouldn't expect that for anybody else to go through that just for me so I said no I don't want you to change 
you just keep being you it's just best for us to separate ways so even though he didn't want that to happen he let me have my way he was so so good to me if you're watching this you are so good to me it's not your fault it's all my fault <laughs> okay so my experience is just one example some people in the industry they do end up together like um, a lot of people who are couples ended up together getting married most of them go back to the Philippines to stop working and some of them the man their boyfriends will go to Oman or to the Middle East and find work there and start living their life abroad so at least they're together and also they can travel together so they have the same goals so those those are the elements that will help you keep the love alive, keep the relationship strong if you both are trying to go to the same place. So yeah, uh, I guess that's why some of my friends, their relationships are strong. They ended up marrying each other and having family either in the Philippines or abroad together. So that's the pathway that you can see if you are on going to be on a long distance relationship with your partner and some people naman they make it work they get married but still they're in a long distance relationship the husband is in the philippines and the wife is in the middle east it's all about trust and you know with each other now you can trust each other you know na it's gonna work out and if you have the desire to make it work out it will work out so that's what happened Sadly for me, it didn't happen that way. I started going into depression at that time. I was already 29 years old when we separated. In all honesty, I didn't want to break off the relationship because of course, uh, sentiment you're feeling sentimental about it and you feel the love for the other person and at the same time, you feel like, uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys, there's a definite fear of being alone dying alone i was thinking oh my god in a few weeks i'm gonna be 30 years old and I'm, I'm gonna be 30 and i'm gonna die alone i'm never gonna find someone to love me i'm never gonna find a husband and i'm gonna die alone so it was scary and it could be like one of those reasons that's telling me don't break off the relationship with my ex that time because I didn't want to be alone. But I thought it wasn't fair for the other person that that's the only reason that I didn't want to break off the relationship. It's kind of selfish. And for me, the, 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 the best thing to do is set each other free. I would die alone. It's okay. I will die in misery if that's meant to be. And, but I have to be true to myself. I have to be true to the other person that I think we're not going on the same path. We're not on the same page. Maybe it's not the best relationship. So I made the choice to break it off. Then I became miserable because yeah, of that fear. I was really miserable that I wouldn't find the right person for me and things like that. So. I just shook it off. It's like I accepted my faith. I'm gonna be a matandang dalaga. I told my mom. I told my aunt, whom I called my mom. Uh, I told my aunt, I'm gonna be a matandang dalaga. I'm gonna die alone. So have a room for me, please. <laughs> Things like that. And also, I have picos. I would be, you know, it was difficult for me to have kids. That my doctor said at that time, it would be difficult for me to have kids because of my polycystic ovarian syndrome. So, it's okay i'm gonna be a career woman so i choose to be alone i chose to to really look into myself uh and honestly guys i went into depression that time i was happy with my job but i was depressed because something is wrong something is not right within me so i realized now looking back that it was necessary for me to go through that transition phase to be really true to myself and true, the pe true to the people around me of how i feel not just because I don't want to hurt their feelings. I have to stand up for myself because uh, for all those years that I wasn't standing up for myself, it all came down to that depression. And then it triggered a spiritual journey for me. I started learning about emotional wounds and I tried to heal myself. So 
So really step by step trying to do meditation and yoga and figuring out what happened in my life and all those hurt feelings that I've been holding on since the beginning of time, the unprocessed grief and all of that. So I guess it all worked out for the best. After a year of you know seeing someone for coffee and things like that and not really working out i was able to finally focus on getting my business started even without without my uh, even me not in the philippines i was desperate to get it started because if you watch my last video you would know what happened i almost got fired so i really wanted to start a business i really wanted to have a real estate property before the opportunity you know disappears <laughs> so i took advantage of my position as a job of my job as a flight attendant to take loans and good loans at that meaning the loans pay for itself so that's another story go ahead and check out my other video for that story but yeah the odd thing though the odd thing that happened is during this time i was single i was focused on my career on youtube and building my business I would date every once in a while and then suddenly then I met John I wasn't really expecting anything of this date we started dating and we clicked oh my god we have the same goals for our lives we wanted to have kids we want to have businesses we want to live far from the city and you know prepare for the end of days <laughs> <laughs> Those are dating convos. <laughs> I remember I was so killing. But yeah, oddly enough, guys, things work out themselves if you work on yourself <laughs> first. I already accepted my fate of being a spinster that time. And then suddenly John came along and then everything was was happy. But it's not all rainbows and roses because I'm still working as a flight attendant there's still the thing that I have to do a long distance relationship with him if we really wanted to work things out with the both of us so we did the long distance thing for some time and it was it was fine this time it was really a clingy relationship <laughs> we're watching this big dad if you're watching this i'm sorry we were really clingy at the beginning we were like doing video calls 24 7 and he would be upset if i would sleep <laughs> because i was sleeping i can't video call him will realize in the end God has been working on the things that you have been praying for him so I was praying those times when I was depressed I was praying that if I would have a life that I really love I really want to be a mom I read that's my number one priority I really want to experience being a mom and having a business uh, I'm okay with being a flight attendant I've already experienced it it's a cool job but I'm okay to let it go so in the end looking back at it uh, everything happened just just as how I prayed for God it to happen maybe not the most ideal situation but it did happen you know um, I was thinking I will never have kids but then I got pregnant so it was a blessing and I thank God every day that it happened and despite having Picos despite having really old age <laughs> all of those things despite having um, all these objections that you think that you can't have what you really want in life in the end if you just be true to yourself and stand up for yourself on who you really are inside uh, the world has a way of working itself out for you so <laughs> such a long story guys love or career which one should you choose I'm here to tell you guys that you don't have to choose one. It will all be given to you in, in all perfect timing. You can have it all just one at a time, okay? So don't have to worry, don't have to stress. If you're thinking like, oh, I have to let go of my love life and focus on career. Uh, you know, it's, it's really not that way, guys. So just be happy on what season you are in your life right now respect your season and enjoy the most of it because 
then the next season will come and you might think that ah i missed the other season because i was so stressed that season so you will miss all the beauty of it now that i am focused on my family and i'm not working anymore as a flight attendant i do still miss being a flight attendant in all honesty but you know what i am so happy to be here i'm so happy i'm just so grateful to be able to produce a child <laughs> and i'm so grateful to be able to do what i really love to do which is doing business and doing youtube you know my blogs my writing and all of these things so i hope that you find inspiration in this video i know it's a long video so I'm gonna end it now. Once again, I would like to invite you guys to join me. I'm going to host a workshop this coming March 2. It's called the Interview Success Workshop. And I'm going to teach you guys how to formulate your own answers for interview questions and how to deliver them. We're gonna practice, polish the way you deliver your answers for the interview itself so i hope that you'll be able to join me go ahead and register now the links will be on the description box below if you have any other questions about love and relationships maybe i could be your dr love <laughs> dr love and i'll give my best to give advice to you guys but thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to this channel and i will see you guys on the next one fly with you soon bye